you know, I have been reporting on questionable polls, questionable polls the last few weeks because you got CNN polls saying Joe Biden is up by 10 points. Now a recent Quinnipiac poll came out. Joe Biden's up, I think he was up even more than 10 points. And all the polls say Joe Biden is up, but they never describe the actual number of people they are polling aged 18 to 29, if you're talking the immediate, uh, the most young demographic, age 18 to 34, which would be the millennial age, age 35 to 50, or 35 to 49, which not millennials, but still in, in the younger trend, and age uh, over 50. And there's a lot of older people in America that support Bernie Sanders, a lot of older people in America that support Tulsi Gabbard, but keeping it real, there's more older people in America that support more establishment, frankly, right-wing Democrats. So I've looked at these polls and they don't give any information. And I've done video after video on this, Quinnipiac, CNN, they don't give any information. How many, po- how many people are they polling? How many people in my age group? So I'm 32. So how many people age 18 to 29 are they polling or, or uh, 30 to 45? No idea. But a CNN poll that I recently did a video on, uh, when they had 18 to 34, it said NA, which meant they didn't sample enough people for it to be an actual usable statistic. So there is evidence that all of these polls and what the media does is the polls come out in the morning, they post the poll, and that drives the news cycle. And it creates a narrative. Joe Biden, he's the front runner. Just like the media did this in 2016 by showing superdelegates on the screen or in the pages of the New York Times and grouping those with pledge delegates. It's to give off an impression that the race is already over. And it's called manufacturing consent, or in this case, manufacturing the results. Because the hope is, if you could drill this in, you know, Biden, poll after poll after poll, he's up double digits and hasn't even announced, maybe it will kind of deter people, not only from coming out for Bernie Sanders, but come along, you know, Elizabeth Warren, Tulsi Gabbard, whatever. So this is obviously a disservice. And the polling institutes should tell the people uh, in, in their poll results, well, how many people, can you give me the numbers of people you've polled that are younger? Because obviously Bernie Sanders has a huge, huge advantage with younger, younger uh, voters than he, do, than he does older voters. That's just fact. So I've reached out to Quinnipiac. I've reached out to CNN. I've reached out to Emerson with the same question. Do you mind providing uh your methodology and how many individuals you polled uh, age 18 to 29 or age 18 to 34 or age 35 to 49 and over 50. In fairness, reached out to Quinnipiac on Friday. Haven't heard back. Followed up with them this morning. Reached out to CNN today. Haven't heard back. Reached out to Emerson today. Haven't heard back. So not, not really holding, <laughs> not really holding my breath, but I have reached out. And I don't really expect them to respond because I think the answer is pretty evident. They're not polling. They are oversampling older people and undersampling young people. So, of course, if you're not sampling a whole lot of young people, Bernie Sanders will do worse. Well, at least, even though, uh, to my knowledge, they still don't give how many young people they polled, at least there's now polls coming out showing you exactly my point. Sanders leads poll of young Democrats by double digits. This is a poll today. Bernie Sanders holds a double digit lead among young voters in the 2020 Democratic presidential primary, according to a poll released Monday. 31% of likely voters between 18 and 29 years old, surveyed by Harvard University's Institute of Politics, said they prefer the Vermont lawmaker in a hypothetical primary. Former Vice President Joe Biden was the first pick of 20% of respondents. Former Vice President Joe Biden was the first pick of 20% of respondents, while former Congressman Beto O'Rourke received 10%. No other candidate received more than 5%. Ouch, Kamala Harris. Ouch, Elizabeth Warren. Gotta be real. Ouch, Tulsi Gabbard. The youth vote has plenty of time to shift, though. Yeah, they're totally going to shift away from Bernie. As 20% of the likely voters said, they remain undecided. 
proving that young voters see more than age, it's notable that the candidates with the most expertise experience in government service are leading a diverse field at this early stage in the process. John De La Volpe, director of polling for the Institute of Politics, said in a statement. Compared to this point in the last election cycle, uh, in the last presidential cycle, young Democratic voters are more engaged and likely to have an even greater impact. So there's things that are true about what they just said and things that are not true. So, uh, yeah, young voters, I mean, Bernie woke up a hell of a lot of young voters. And every four years, there's millions more that are 18, specifically millions of more, uh, you know, 18-year-olds who are black, 18-year-olds who are Latino, 18-year-olds who are indigenous, 18-year-olds who are LGBT, 18-year-olds who are handicapped, and on and on we go. The thing is, you know, when you have polls specifically looking at younger people, 31% Bernie Sanders to 20% Joe Biden. Well, look at the polls, the overall polls that are polling just everyone showing Joe Biden up for 10 by 10 points. Well, if Bernie Sanders is leading him in this poll by 11 points among age 18 to 29, wouldn't you think that if they're sampling young people in a way that's at least equivalent to older people, that the gap would be much tighter to the point where it's too close to call or within the margin of error? If polls that look at young people have Bernie up by 11 points over Joe Biden, well, I would probably guess that if they're sampled properly and equally to older people in all these polls where they're saying Joe Biden is up by 10, talking to UCNN, Quinnipiac, Emerson, uh, Morning Consult, it would be a lot closer. So I think this shows you even further they're creating the narrative they want. And these pollsters probably think it's totally acceptable to oversimple older people and, and make it appear like, you know, this is just, this is who's up. This Joe Biden is leading. It's not acceptable because young, more young people are voting. More and more young people are voting. A lot of young people, more, way more young people voted in the 2018 midterms than normal in midterms. So it needs to be a priority to poll and survey a representative number of young people. And if as pollsters you're having a trouble getting young people, then don't do the poll. If you can't get young people to answer your poll, either figure it out or don't do the poll. Because it just makes young people and older people apathetic to politics and the media and pollsters because they're reporting nonsense. These are not accurate polls. And when you say that, you're, set, you know, you're attacked by the New York Tandon crowd and the Hillary crowd is like, oh, Bernie Sanders, you know, the, the Bernie bros now don't believe numbers. No, I don't believe numbers that literally are oversampling young people, uh, older people. And in CNN's case, 18 to 34, it says NA, which means not enough people surveyed to affect, essentially not, not enough people surveyed to even use it as a statistic. No, I don't believe those numbers. So I'm going to look at more polls. We'll see if Quinnipiac, CNN, Emerson uh, get back to me. But we're going to do a deep dive into these polls because you need to know and you need to tell others that are not in the know, that are just believing these polls, hook, line, and sinker, that they're being sold a bill of goods. Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statuscoup.com where you can sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as 5 to $10 a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statuscoup.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you.